Hello my dear friends, welcome to Aspire 32 and from many days my uh, subscribers, my uh, friends on Instagrams are asking me to make few case videos which I used to do before and I thought this is one very nice case which you can discuss and uh, we can learn many things from here. So this case majority people will extract because it is a difficult case, there is a, a lot of core material it is a composite there is the major problem is there is uh, decay below the core build up material and uh, if if you don't believe in saving the two structure you would tell the patient that we may have to extract it because the decay is uh, very close to the furcation okay um, then of course re rct is a challenge here because you see that distal i cannot see the canal here but uh, mesial I can see it and at the starting I can appreciate that there are two separate canals but are they exiting as two separate canals we don't know at this moment you can only know it preoperatively if you have MCBCT or you can uh, assess it when you have the when you are doing the cleaning and shaping so before attempting re in this case you will also feel that maybe the the distal root is resolved because you can see the length of the mesial root it is so long and the distal root is so small so you it is normal tendency to feel that okay there is something wrong in the distal root but it is not necessary because if the distal tooth had resolved you would not see this uh, nice uh, lamina dura or the radiorudulicency which is continuing with the root and it is it is it is definitely round now this patient has take, had taken orthodontic treatment before for so this tooth was not treated during that time and it was decided by the orthodontist that this will be treated after the orthodontist but and then she visited me for this uh, uh, for some other case and i suggested that we should treat it at this moment because there is a big lesion in the periapex and uh, there is also a lesion in the furcation uh, below the core buildup so uh, treating this is very important so how I, I went ahead is I did not pro, I did not remove the core buildup matter at the beginning because uh, I had no idea how close it to the furcation because this is a two dimensional image so you might feel that it is very near to the furcation but it may not be because it can be changed because of the angulation or it can be other way around also. So I first promised the patient that first I will remove the uh, uh, you know I will try to gain the entry in the orifice and then I will finish the real city and then we'll decide what has to be done for the core. So here uh, the real problem is there is a big core built up material and you have to find the orifice and if you are not very careful most likely you may also end up in furcation areas. Okay, so that is a very important thing which you should remember. Apart from that uh, there are other aspects to consider uh, which is decided post operatively like you can advise crown lending because I also feel the margin on the single side was very less. So post operatively, you know, this is the case where I, you know, I finished the re RCT. You, you see that I have removed a part of core build up material, but there is still some amount of decay. You can also see on the distal side. This is a temporary material, and uh, after obturation, I waited for one week, and the patient is completely asymptomatic. Healing will take some time. You, you generally such a big lesion, maybe you have to wait for three to six months to see a lot of change radiographically. Clinically, a patient may be asymptomatic and that may be sufficient to go ahead with uh, post-operative uh, post-endo restoration. So that's it. It's a, it's a 4% 30 in the mesial and 4% 40 as the canals were merging. Uh, this is a very good case to understand that we all want to learn more and more endo, but endo is not just about filling the root canal it, it's a very easy task you will, if you keep, do keep doing more and more cases you will do good endodontics with a good guidance but the important thing is value your post endo restoration as per literature of course there are multiple uh, types of core materials which are available you can use gic you can use uh, dual cure composite you can even use composite light cure composite there are multiple materials but I personally like dual cure flowable composites. They are very nice because if it is just light cure, then you may assume that you are curing from the top, but the light may not be reaching to the deeper area. 
sufficiently. So dual cure core build-up materials are very good uh, as a core build-up material and composite inher inherently makes the tooth stronger, which which may not be possible in GIC or uh, the other materials. And even GIC depends on which brand of GIC you have used. Not all GICs are of, are really good. Uh, you know, so a good GIC is important than just placing a GIC if you are using it as a core material. So if you have any doubts, you can mention in the comment section and I will soon make another few videos so that uh, we all learn together. Don't forget to subscribe and like to the video. Bye for now.